Welcome back. All right, so before the hockey gets started tonight, let's talk about the trades that took place while doing my daily workout. Uh, so the Ottawa Senators have acquired Jacob Chikrin. So he's off the market, 24 years of age, 36 games, 7 goals, 21 assists, 28 points. Now, the Sens did this without losing anybody off their roster, without giving up Ridley Gregg, which was one of the pieces they asked for, there were other prospects they asked for, and Ottawa basically said no. So Arizona gets a 2023 first, which is top five protected. So if the Sens bought them out and they get the top five draft pick, that switches over to 2024. There's a 2024 second, which is from Washington. Uh, that one becomes a first if the Sens reach 2023. So I guess it will reach the East, Eastern Conference Finals in 2023. I'm guessing it's not Washington's they get then. It is Ottawa's 2024 pick. Uh, but that one is top 10 protected as well. So then that would cycle into the following year. So a couple of picks there and then a 2026 second round pick. Now, why did Arizona take this? They could have got better deals elsewhere because they didn't have to hold any money. They traded the entire contract. This means that Arizona is in a position where they can take on more money. They can broker at least once or twice more, right? And then they can go from there. So for, the, for both teams, this makes sense. Um, Ottawa's really going for it. I don't know if it's going to work, but I, I admire the moxie here. Now, the Canucks made a similar move earlier. The, dis the difference being the Canucks are going into some sort of a rebuild slash retool. The Sens are trying to come out of it, and they've got plenty of assets that they can uh, build upon in their organization. A lot of young players. So they can afford to part with uh, draft picks at this stage in time. Uh, now, Teddy Bluger has been traded, so it's the last time I get to wear my Bluger uh, Pittsburgh jersey. I, I guess I'll have to get Bluger put on a Vegas jersey, won't I? Because he's gone to Vegas. At least he's in Vegas for now. We'll see if he stays there for next season. Uh, 45 games, 2 goals, 8 assists, 10 points. Uh, Bluger's had a rough year. He's absolutely, he's had a rough year. It has not been uh, a banner year for him. Uh, he was injured for a while and when he came back, he just, he hasn't been the same. So I think a change of scenery should help him. Uh, Vegas should absolutely help him. On the Pittsburgh side, they get a 2024 third round pick as well as uh, Peter Deliberator or Del Deliberator. Uh, either way, it sounds like it sounds like a name that like who's this guy? Uh, is Peter Peter the Liberator? That sounds weird. Deliberator. All right, fine, cool, whatever. So yeah, he's 22 years of age. He's played in the AHL for Henderson, 22 games, three assists there, and then went in the AHL, 18 games, three assists for him there. So. Uh, depth defense been picked up, and again, remember, you have 50 contracts you can carry at any given point in time. Guys get traded at times because they have to have a certain amount of contracts or they want a certain amount of room. So Hextall saying all the right nice things about Bluger and wishing him well in his future endeavors as they move him on to Vegas. Uh, LA didn't want to lose a goaltending prospect for nothing because it didn't look like he was going to sign with the Kings, so the Sabres have picked up goaltender Eric Portillo uh, going the other way, a 2023 third round pick. Plus, we also have breaking. Okay, so I don't have it on the board because it hasn't 100% gone through yet. But Shayna's reporting, and if, if you've been on Twitter, you know who Shayna is. She's reporting that Vlad Nemesnikov is apparently headed to San Jose. And Mikey Asamont would be going to Tampa. Asamont's been great for San Jose. And so, <clears throat> we'll see. It's clear that Tampa Bay's looking for a certain kind of player. Asamont in a similar vein to Janot. So Tampa Bay's trying to make themselves harder to play against. Uh, this would be the second time Nemestikov's been traded out of Tampa. So I don't have it on the board because it's not 100% confirmed. I thought, well, start up the video. It should be confirmed by the time it's done. Nope, here we are. All right, so there you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts regarding the Chikrin deal. Let me know your thoughts regarding Teddy Bluger and the fact that I, I can't wear my, my Bluger jersey anymore for, for videos when I'm talking about Pittsburgh. It's just kind of sad. And uh, if you're a Sabres fan, what do you think about picking up a goaltending prospect that, again... If he wouldn't sign by this summer, ends up being a free agent. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. For all your support, I will talk to you again soon.